Hi guys, it is now October 1, 2018. It's 12.46 a.m. on the East Coast, and I just have to show you a couple of things. Um, well, <laughs> snow, early snow, Montana and North Dakota. Is that very early for you guys? Oh! Wow, also Minnesota. And it just happens to last for just a second because it's a harp next rad ring. Boom! Bringing you rain and snow. Okay, um, yeah, you can see all of the rippling of the microwaves in these, in this precipitation. Don't even know if it's really storms. Uh, wow, Duluth. Hmm. That's pretty intense. Concentric Nexrad harp rings. And it can bring about weather. The pulsing. Ah, weather. Okay, it's gone. Uh, extremely low frequencies right up here. All right. What I want to bring your attention to is the stopping of Northern California getting any rain. Well, that's a drag, isn't it? Oh, here you see, you see the extremely low frequencies, but you also see a next red harp ring right there and concentric. Um, but look at this. Frequencies. Whoa! What? A storm coming into Northern California? We can't have it. We cannot have it. Stop that thing. Stop it. So they're stopping it. And obvious frequencies in play to do that. You see them all? Okay. Uh, Mother Nature, she don't um, kind of, I don't know, create a knife, scissor, what? Right angle? Very, very defined lines? No. All right. So they're stopping rain. Of course they have to stop rain because your moon beam governor has to hit you with more taxes, you know, that climate change thing. Look at this. Jesus. All right. What are meteorologists doing with this? Calling it an anomaly? It's really unbelievable. Um, the frequency is Yuma. Arizona. Very much in play. In your hurricane, your Rosa. All of it manipulated, all of it man made. No joke. Here, the frequencies, you can see them very clearly. The right angles. Here you have more extremely low frequencies around Apache Junction. Now, I checked YouTube to see if there were any flash flooding events taking place. I did see one that was posted about seven hours ago in Huma, and it was heavy rain. Nothing that looked that bad. I hope it just remains that way. But this thing has obviously broken apart considerably. But all of this, all of this, uh, these um,
what do you call it? I don't know. The squares, the rough edges, all of that signatures of frequencies being used. All of these little tiny squares. That this is not the precipitation that Mother Nature uh, produces, but Mother Nature is well has been put into retirement, and you can see all of the frequencies, all of the holes in the precipitation, and all of the squares showing up. Um, I also saw, look at this, I mean, come on, come on, really, really, squared precipitation, I don't think so, artificial, not natural, the, uh, yeah, isn't that interesting, just happens to pop up. And the other, um, Baton Rouge. Wow, wow, whoa, man, hey, what's going on? Are these rain bombs? What? Oh, like Charles, you just so happen to have. Extremely low frequencies going through your rain bomb. Let's see. It took place at 11.01 p.m. And Baton Rouge, you got your own rain bomb. Boom. Whoa. All right. Well kind of north of Baton Rouge. But you can see the uh, beginnings of a next red harp ring. But I won't bore you with um, checking it out. But here, Montgomery, Alabama, Selma area. Now you can see the next red harp concentric rings and you can see more next red harp rings beginning to form around Jackson right here more defined right here And you got one uh, right here. Now, what I thought was really interesting was this. Here is that very powerful storm in Alabama that we were just uh, looking at on IntelliCast noticing man's hand in it, the frequencies. But look at the frequencies that are hitting this storm. And guess what? These frequencies are destroying that powerful storm. You got frequencies coming right out of this area, which might be Montgomery and frequencies that are coming out of the coastal area, Louisiana going right into Alabama. That And also frequencies up here in Mississippi that is targeting that storm. And it's literally bringing it to an end. right here. Frequencies here. All of the, the uh, defined fanned out lines that you are seeing, this storm is being targeted 
by extremely low frequencies from several different areas. And voila! And look how squared off it is loading images. Wow. Brilliant, huh? We say goodbye to that. Um, look at Houston. Oh, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Yes, we do, because you are always shooting off laser beam frequencies. And interesting, you usually like target, I don't know, Austin. But now you're going way up north to, is this like the Fort Worth area? Where you had flash flooding just, what, a week ago? This is Dallas. Well, something's going on, because these are mighty intense beams shooting out from Houston. You also have the extremely low frequencies coming right out of this area. You can see the fanned out fine, uh, finely defined, <laughs> finely defined lines. You also have this in New Mexico. Now, I don't really know what to make of this, but it seems to sustain itself. It's almost like a uh, like a a wall of precipitation that is just remaining with uh, some kind of frequency being shot out of it and you can see the microwave frequencies right up here you see these the ripples right here New Mexico extremely low frequencies and microwaves being used and here's Rosa. So, you have a beam hitting or a beam being shot out right into Utah. And you have these microwave frequencies that are showing up very clearly. Let me slow it down. Utah, you have your extremely low frequencies being shot out from here. You can see Northern California. You can see you were going to get some rain and they stopped it. Right up here. Look. You got the green and yellow, but oof, man, doesn't make it quite inside. Um, here's that beam, and right there, you have um. I, I don't even know what to make of that other than to say that it's maybe intense microwaves at a high level. And isn't this the Phoenix area of Arizona? Down here is Tucson. All right, well, it looks as if it looks as if it's pretty good. I don't know, are they using these frequencies to to break it up because you know, green is rain and yellow is, you know, more intense rain and red is really, really intense rain, so it looks like the yellow is being broken up, dying out, which is really 
very good. So you guys in Arizona, New Mexico, let me know what's going on. Please. You still have the extremely low frequencies coming out of uh, California. I mean, this is really a very odd development of precipitation, considering that it's squared off a rectangle. Yep. Weather modification, geoengineering, do some research, please. Find out what is going on. Um, the snow. Your snow. <laughs> In Montana and North Dakota. Oh, here's uh, Duluth. Is this Duluth? Extremely low frequencies. They're making it. Aren't you happy? Man is giving you snow. Look at this. It looks like, you know, microwaves running right through the tail of this supposed storm. And look at how nicely defined it gets. And what this is in Colorado. Another um, squared off. I don't even know what to make of anything anymore. And you got the ultra low frequencies shooting out. South Carolina, up here. See this defined line that shoots right into Anderson where I am. But yeah, they are literally destroying this with the frequencies, with these extremely low frequencies. So, that's all I have to report. And you guys, let me know what is taking place with Rosa. I really hope that you are all okay. You don't have to suffer the consequences of man making any flash floods for you. That you remain safe, stay safe, and that you have a good night. One o'clock on the East Coast, so it's got to be in Arizona. Eleven o'clock. Look at these frequencies. Houston, we sure do have a problem. And you guys, how are you feeling? Because these extremely low frequencies come with an awful lot of symptoms. Physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, cognitive. Ciao, guys.